Hansi, come on up. Come on, come up on mommy. Come on, come on up. Put your feet up. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica and today I have my lip service update for August. And I have some empties. I'm very excited. But before that, I'm going to let you know that this is a Fantastic Ladies collab. This is the second, second or third year? I think it's only the second year that we've done this. But it is a year-long project and it is all about lip products. And it is rolling. So started on January 1st, goes to December 31st. You'll probably see my dog walking around and my crazy kids yelling in the background. Because that's what they do. But um, anywho... I'm going to have everyone that has joined into this through the Fantastic Ladies listed down in my description box if you want to go check them out. And yeah, let's get into it. I have three empties. Three. I'm very excited. One I actually just finished um, earlier today and that makes me happy. This is one of the lipstick pans from the Sephora Colorista palette. This was the red one and I, I enjoyed it. I only have one left. I'm so excited. I also finished the um, Lorac Alter Ego Lip Gloss in Goddess. And you can actually see right through that one. Pulled the stopper out in everything. I scraped everything I could out of this one. I am surprised that I enjoyed this as much as I did. I'm very picky about gloss. And um, most of the time I don't like the um the feel of the formula on my lips it's either too thin or too sticky and you know i it, i'm kind of i don't want to say i'm a snob about lip gloss because i'm i'm really not a super picky person in general but um preferences are you know i love buxom i love the way it feels and um if anyone has ever tried the avon glazeware i really like that formula and I just, I really enjoyed this Lorac Alter Ego lip gloss. If I could get my lip gloss numbers way, way down, I probably would repurchase this. I really liked it that much. So that tells you something. Um, this one I would not repurchase. This is the Tarte Tartist lip paint in birthday suit. I wouldn't buy this in any color. <laughs> um, one, I'm not a lip, liquid lipstick kind of girl. And I did, I used it all. I scraped it out the best that I could and nothing else would come off the sides. But yeah, I, I'm not a liquid lip girl. I do not like my lips to feel dry ever. If, if I like roll over in the middle of the night and I'm aware that my lips feel dry, I will reach for a lip balm. That's how obsessive I am about not having dry feeling lips. And to me, um, liquid lipsticks, they just make my lips feel too dry. So... I always wore that over like a lip balm so it would never dry down like most liquid lip wearers like it and yeah, I don't know it just wasn't my thing I'm not into the whole mat I I know it's not on trend I like the gloss I'm a weird girl but I embrace that all right so three empties and let me show you what I still have in of course I have my Avon lipstick adjuster and Sherry, I have been using it. I'm not getting rid of it. It will not defeat me, Sherry. All right. Look at the pan on that blue has definitely expanded. Haven't really touched the black a whole lot, but that blue is uh, getting less and less. Can you guys hear my daughter yelling out there? She is a feisty little thing. I don't know where she gets that. I have no idea. All right, I do still have the last lipstick pan from the Sephora Colorista palette. I am putting it out there. I will have this done by the next update. Hopefully by the end of this month. I am going to be focusing on that little pan just because I'm kind of getting sick of, you know, dealing with that pan thing. So that's what I'm putting out there. That's going to be done. Hopefully this one will be done. This is the Makeup Forever Artist Rouge C211. And um, this is all that I have left. Some of that is actually plastic. Let me roll it to the top of the plastic and you can see 
what is actually left. So I am going to go out on another limb. I'm a dangerous girl. I'm going to try and finish this one by the next update. Not by the end of the month, but by the next update. So I'd like to have both of those done by the next update. This one I am certain will be done by the next update. This is my Be Central Lime and Coconut Beeswax Lip Balm, which I really like a whole lot. It smells good. It smells like summer. I mean, lime and coconut. <sighs> yeah. Um, I was doing the roll down and I was at here last time. Now I'm right here. You wanna see, it looks like there's a, a lot of space here, but there's like actual component in there. If you roll it up all the way, that's all the product that is left in there. So um, yeah, that is going to be done by the next update. So we're up to three that I should have done. All right, and then I have two lip pencils. Didn't use this as much in this past month. I don't know why, I just, I have not been in a lip pencil this month like that kind of a mood and I think it's because I was on vacation and I was I was into my glosses so you know this is the Avon big color lip pencil in sherry and not a ton of usage but um I don't think I even marked this yeah I did there it is not the greatest usage, but some usage, and it will need to be sharpened after a couple more, um, a couple more usages. I forgot that I had marked it on here before, so let me line up the plastic so you can see the usage better there. Hopefully it will show up. A little bit of usage, not a ton, and then of course I have the Buxom lip pencil in Dolly Danger. I have not sharpened it at all yet, but I have actually used it a little bit. And it surprisingly had like a pretty long tip on it because you can see the usage here. That, it just had a crazy tip on it. I don't know why, but you know, what are you gonna do? I don't think I'll have any of the pencils done because that is just, that is just not in the works. Uh, I think these will take quite a while, but the lip balm I'm going to use, I probably will um, dig that one out as well because I just really enjoy it so much. And um, Makeup Forever Artist Rouge C211 and the Last Pan from Sephora Colorista. So these three I fully expect to have done by the next update. So that will make me happy and I am going to set a goal on my um, lipstick adjuster. It's not gonna be an amazing goal, but see how the blue is getting closer to the side pan? I am going to attempt to hit side pan on that blue. That would be awesome because I need to not throw it on my desk. Um, I need to really get a move on that one if I am going to get the blue done and then start working on the black. And that's, that's my thought process right now. Really work on the blue and then save the black for like the fall and the winter time because I, I tend to like a darker lip when it's starting to get cooler out. So I'm gonna save the black for that one. All right, wrapping this up. I've rambled on way too long. Um, let me know how you guys are doing with your lip products. I know some people have said that um, they are doing pretty good and other people are like, mm, not so much. But um, let me know since the last update how you guys are doing. I am trying to get back to my comments. I had been on vacation and you know, things have been very hectic around here. So I, I swear I'm getting back to my comments. It's just, you know, it's mom life. I can't wait for school to start. I love my children, but I can't wait for, for school to start. If you're a mom and you have young kids that are in school and not necessarily self-sufficient, tell me how you feel. Like. Are you excited to have your kids go back to school like I am? Or um, is it harder for you to let your kids go to school? Because I have one going into second grade this year. I have one going into pre-K four and one going into pre-K three. So I'm kind of, uh, I'm excited for that because my daughter has not been in preschool yet. And you know, this is gonna be her big shot to go into school like her big brother. So 
I'm excited. Even if it's only three days a week, I'm good with that. You know, two hours. Two hours for Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Mama gets a little bit of time for herself. All right, wrapping this up because I am just rambly. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm just check out all the amazing, fantastic ladies down in the description if you want to check out other lip service updates. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you in my next video, have a beautiful day.